What's up, Derek? What do you got going on? All right, so we're getting ready to pull this dash and we're gonna update the um, all the gauges here. We're gonna be doing, um, these gauges work, they're great. They're a little bit hard to see with the lighting, the illumination um, at night. So, Hey guys, I'm Derek. And I'm Rita, and we are Trisa Auto. Trisa Auto. Okay, our first step what we're gonna do is just take off the uh, center console, get it loose. There's a couple of screws on both sides here and in the back right there. of it. And on the other side as well. And then the back here. And then you could literally take this out. You gotta disconnect the radio, center console, um, steering wheel. Depending on what you um, have, that may be different, of course. So, um, you can pull all of that stuff out and then you start working on the top. There's four screws that you could lift up and then you'll get the vent and then there's a bunch of other screws in there. And there's some screws, four screws, two screws on each side. In the bottom. In the bottom. Steering column comes down to get a little bit more room and then you could take out this whole assembly as, as one, one piece. But there is a bunch of wire harnesses on both sides that you're gonna have to be careful and disconnect. Yeah, uh, especially on these older cars. Especially on these older cars, the connectors are brittle, they're fragile, so you have to you have be to extra careful. Time. All right, so we've got a big chunk of it taken apart. We've got the, the bezel on the top for the vent. We've got all the screws loose, the dash is shaking. We have to unbolt a couple of bolts from underneath here and in the center, and then we should be able to get most of our stuff out. We just gotta look for the bolts and try not to rock the dash and stuff so much. Um, or too much rather so we don't crack it all right so right now we've got the dash pad out of the car um, we have all the harnesses and all that this is for the existing ac setup um, that we're going to neaten up a bunch of this this wiring and stuff like that clean it up and then we have the dash pad sitting on the bench, the roll bench over here. Uh, I already started to pull some of the gauges out. So on this cars, you only could get the gauges out from behind the dash. So literally you have to pull the dash out to get it. So here are some of the gauges that's already uh, taken out. I'm getting ready to finish up taking all the existing wires off of it and move to the get rid of these old gauges take what we need out of them so we could retrofit the other gauges into it and put it back in so. all right so we've got all the gauges the three uh, gauges out from the from the dash got them all here we're taking them apart and what we've got to do right now is clean the bezels out because of the age we're gonna clean them up and we're gonna repaint them and get them ready for a retrofit and fit them into um, the stock bezels so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna we've got to do some more cleaning to it to get it ready because they're just old and faded so we're gonna refresh them brighten them up clean them up real nice all right so with um, the Intellitronic gauges they just come with the circuit boards and stuff like that so what we do what you have to do is use the old housings for all the gauges you have to take them apart and reuse them um, we went and refinished these, repainted them and stuff like that. And what I also went and did is cut here. 
uh, some new plexiglasses to put into them because I mean this is a 45 year old car 48 year old car whatever it is um, that we're putting these things in so they over the years they got a little crusted looking so we took the old one out and we cut some new ones and we just hot glue them back in and they're pretty much assembled with the factory stuff and then you have the the tinted uh, plexiglass that you usually install in here that that came with the package so it'll give you that dark hollow tint look and then you pretty much you find all the pieces to the particular gauge every one of them are slightly different that they fit into and we'll put them together and then we'll just assemble everything assembly is pretty decent it's not it's not horrible um, and then afterwards we just have to wire up all the gauges and run all our wires and fuses and so on and so forth mm -hmm. too. and also depending um, on your app you know you yeah, guys application, application it's it's diff it may be different it may be so different, but it's the same concept pretty much you assemble all your pieces together and do what you got to do to make it fit uh, we powered up one of them out here and it looks pretty good so we're gonna put them in all of them in in the the dash and then we're gonna power it up and show what it looks like on the outside and then okay so we have the clear plexi there that covers all the bezel that um, so you don't see their rough edges and then we have in the back is the provided tint covering all right so here's some of the behind the scenes um, how we've hooked up these things uh, you got the three gauges there with a water temp and fuel and clock and on this side here this is the odometer and then this is the tack so pretty much it was pretty decent to assemble comes with all the bolts and nuts screws and spacers and so on and so forth so we put them together like this because we don't have like i said in the previous we don't have the cups the oem cups for this so i'm going to change the gauges out so we're retrofitting it this way and then we put a retainer in the back with that rod and that would that should keep it supported and i just use those insulators there just so for vibration it doesn't have any noises or any squeaks and rattles and stuff like that um, but i'll go ahead and set this in and then i'll video the other side and show it to you Okay, let's check in with Derek and see how how it's going. What do you got going on, Derek? Just finishing up some of the tachometer wire stuff. Here how did? Um, <clears throat> we had to find the signal wire for the tack. And um, on the RBs, this is a particular RB car, so it's different than an LS to pick up the 
crawl pack so we had a run or a resist assist uh, set up in there and it's all in this pack here um, and it's in line with it to for us to get a proper tack signal um, <clears throat> so I'm just trying to button it up neaten it up I got it fused here to a 12 volt source so all of just just neaten it up right now Hey, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the button, the bells, and all the other things they say. Thanks. Thanks. See you.